Hello, I'm Samantha Russell, and today we're going to speak about the apostrophe S when we're talking about possession. So let's have a look. Here we have the apostrophe S. Let's imagine we have Melissa, we have Steve, and we have little baby Harry. Now we can say the baby of Melissa, or we can say Melissa's baby. So Melissa is the mummy, the baby belongs to Melissa. It's not the baby of Maria, the baby of Natalia, the baby of Julieta, it's the baby of Melissa. Consequently, in English, we would put an apostrophe S and we would say Melissa's baby. Now let's think about a sentence. Let's say Melissa's baby is warm. So they're nice and warm. They're not hot, but they're nice and warm because he's all wrapped up. Now, the baby is Melissa's baby, but it's also Steve's baby as well. So we would say Melissa's with the apostrophe S and Steve's with the apostrophe S, baby is warm. So when somebody or something belongs to a person, we put the apostrophe S and then whatever the person or thing is. It could be, for example, Melissa's car is red. Melissa's house is big. Could be Melissa's sweater is yellow. The sweater of Melissa, the sweater that belongs to Melissa, the car that belongs to Melissa, the house that belongs to Melissa. Melissa is the owner. Be careful because let's say this little baby is Harry. So we can say Harry is warm. Now you probably know in English that with the verb is, we can join it to the word, can't we? I am, I'm, you are, you're, he is, he's, she is, she's. Well, he is, Harry is, Harry is warm. We join it to be Harry's warm. In this situation, the apostrophe S represents the verb is. It's not the same as the apostrophe S because here we have a noun. So this noun is the property of Melissa. So this apostrophe S is to demonstrate and explain that the noun belongs to Melissa. So these are two different reasons for using the apostrophe S. When we use the apostrophe S to say that something belongs to somebody, for example, this is Melissa's baby, we can also do it for time as well. So we can say today's class, the class of today, today's class will be great. The class belongs to today, the baby belongs to Melissa. Today's class will be great. Again, be careful because we also say Harry is, Harry's. We can do today is hot. Today is joined. I am, I'm, you are, your, he is, he's, she is, she's, it is, it's, today is, today's. So again, we can use the apostrophe S for another reason. Here, it is because the class belongs to today. Here, because we're joining with the verb is. You cannot use the apostrophe S when you're talking about places. For example, London is full of history. The castle in London is by the river. We wouldn't say, for example, London's castle is by the river. We wouldn't say it because London is a place. So we do not use the apostrophe S for places. We use the apostrophe S for people and we use the apostrophe S for time. If, for example, 
The word ends in the letter S. You only put the apostrophe. You do not put two letter S's. For example, the lady's hat is red. One lady. The hat of the lady, the baby of Melissa, the lady's hat is red. However, the word ladies, when it is plural, ends in the letter S. Consequently, we only put the apostrophe. We do not put an extra S. We do not put an extra S, we just put the apostrophe. This is applicable for any word that ends in an S. It could be, for example, Buenos Aires, the capital of Argentina. You wouldn't say Buenos Aires is stadium. First, it's a place, and second, it has an S on the end. Jesus, Jesus is a name, and it finishes with the letter S. So consequently, it would only have an apostrophe. If the word ends in the letter S, you only put the apostrophe. The ladies' hats are red. The ladies' hat is red. When you listen, they sound similar. You understand by context. And when you write, you must remember apostrophe S, but if the word ends in S, only the apostrophe. Like that, you can explain property and possession, who the baby belongs to. It's Melissa's and Steve's baby. Harry is Melissa's and Steve's baby. Okay, I hope that's helped you. Don't forget to like the channel, subscribe to the channel, and also hit the bell so you get video notifications. See you soon. Bye.